But first, it's been reported this week that the Queen's parting gift to outgoing PM Gordon Brown was two leather picture frames containing signed photos of herself and the Duke of Edinburgh. However, <laughs> the fr that's not the bad bit. The frames were from Smythson of Bond Street, whose creative director just happens to be Samantha Cameron. Now, a palace spokesperson quickly pointed out that it's the sort of gift the Queen gives to Prime Ministers. We pride ourselves on not giving offence. There was nothing sinister in it. No ulterior motive. Just maybe a little bit of detail behind the hands. <laughs> <laughs> but how important is it for you to get a good send-off when you, when you leave a job? Um, I don't want a big fuss normally. I think when, when, when you leave a job, if you've chosen to leave, of mm. course, if you've got the elbow, then I suppose it's a different story. But if you've chosen to leave, I think you've kind of made up your mind you're going. And I just, for me, I just want to kind of get out the door. I remember when I left the bill, I'd been there seven years, and, and, and they were very sweet and gave me a you know, a bit of a do on the set and a, sort of 150 people were there and we all had a little drink and I had flowers and um, oh. photos of all the scenes and stuff and a sort of best bits thing they played on a screen. But I'd have just been happy with my little truncheon and off. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, your little truncheon and <laughs> off? I didn't tell you about that bit, no, sorry. Like bit you get a truncheon as well. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little wooden truncheon with your name engraved in it. And your character name and everything. Oh, okay. Um, and That's I just, nice. it was lovely, but I'd have just happily had that little thing and then gone. <laughs> and sat on the air quietly in a corner. Are you sure it was a truncheon? It was a truncheon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's our kind of leaving gifts. Not leaving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, yeah, when, I, when I left uh, Curry, I, uh, everybody that leaves Curry, you either leave in a taxi or a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You either die or you don't. <laughs> and I didn't die. I was in the back of a taxi. And when I left Emmerdale, I left with Brian Hibbard from Shawaddy Waddy oh. in the back of a 1960s camper van. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this isn't good. But I do remember, though, the producer came up to me and gave me this fantastic... It was a, a massive glass vase like this, absolutely enormous, with the great big... What do you call... Not Lily. What are those beautiful... Bird of Paradise. Something like that, yes, yes at the top. Flower. Give us a clue. And she gave it over to me, and I went, thank you very much, turned, and dropped it. <gasps> and I was so... And, and I just laughed because I thought it was funny and she, <laughs> she didn't think it was funny at all. The whole thing dropped. Well, when so I, when I left GMTV, I mean, obviously I'd been there for 11 years, so deep down, how do you feel a bit sad if I hadn't got anything at all? Because, you know, I'd been there over a decade. Yeah. But, no, they, they were lovely because I got the same thing. I clip of all my little best bits and all my mistakes oh. and this sort of stuff and the crew were all really... That was a really long take. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, the, you know, we met up with the crew and we all went to the pub. Um, but I got a lovely handbag and, actually, it's a really nice present because I use it most of the time and I think, that's my GMTV handbag. It was quite yeah. a practical present. Does it say GMTV on the outside? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got an anorak that says yeah. that. On, on the back. Not in the shape of a cloud or anything. No, no, it's got a big sun. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, about the last 15 years, I've been sacked from every job I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's not really been a celebration. <laughs> I might say to some mates, come on, let's go down the pub, it's great. Are you not um, really embarrassed by that? No! <laughs> <laughs> She's used to it now. No, no, Andrea, you know what it's like. In, because for about the last 25 years, I've worked in, in telly and radio. Right. So, you know, quite often you get, you get dropped or sacked, you know, and you do. It's as simple as that, you especially do, in radio. The boss changes, they don't like you. It, it does, it happens all the time. <laughs> so they just, you know, when you leave in radio, they don't want you going on air if they've upset yeah. you because you might say something bad. So yeah. you just get oh, out, okay. take your stuff and you go. So I kind of got used oh. to that. But when I was work, doing proper jobs, you know, working in, in offices and, you know, actually working for a living, um, I did used to, you know, when we had leaving parties, people really used to put on a big party for you it was great and there was one I, I do remember it was it was the best party it was in the office and it was for I was temping at the time so it was just a load of it was a long-term temp it was there for about two and a half years and um, they were quite old the people working there and for some reason they got me a, a Tarzanogram <laughs> now have you ever had one of those no. so there's all these like <laughs> these really old men all standing around then there's this Tarzanogram comes in and he's got down his pants a huge banana. <laughs> and I have to get the banana out. Oh. But I can't just get it out and eat it. I've got to eat it from his pants. Oh. Do you know what I mean? That's the yeah. sort of thing. And after that, oh, I was those good old days. Oh, oh, no, after that, I was determined to get sacked from every job. So I just <laughs> have to go for a trip through that again. Right, what a leading <laughs> gift our competition prize would be. No bananas, but we've...